Right, so let's continue with that question. So we ended up in this situation where we had 0 0.015 i a 2 squared minus 7 point 5 i a 2 plus 240 is equal to 0, which is clearly a quadratic equation. So we can apply the quadratic formula in solving this question so if we apply the quadratic formula we remember it, it says i a2 is equal to minus minus 7.5 plus or minus the square root of 7.5 squared minus four times 0 0.015 times 240. Right, I hope you can see that. <clears throat> Divided by 2a, which is 2 times 0 0.015. Right. If you punch that in your calculator, you will end at this conclusion i a2 is equal to 7.5 plus or minus 6.469 divided by 0 0.03 right plus or minus there obviously you'll get two values it means you'll get one value which is equal to four six five comma six three three amperes and thirty four comma three six seven amperes right so we can obviously see that this value is just too big so we we can ignore it because it's not a practical value. So we'll use this as our IA2. Therefore, IA2, come in, Mr. IA2 is equal to, right. So IA2 is then equal to 34.367 amperes. So this is the value that we'll use for IA2. So if we just, let me just quickly draw that circuit diagram again. Remember the second, the, sorry, this should be the inductance. So the second condition, we now have this value Rx being added there to the same 250 ohms that we have here there. And we still have on the armature that 0 0.5 ohms. So I line IA2, which is now a value that we have calculated we need to calculate the value of rx so for us to calculate the value of rx it means we must have the value of i field 2 right how can we get i field 2 remember in the previous video we did say that i field 2 is equal to 20 over i a2 right if you can just go sc scroll back and see how we came up to this conclusion right if you substitute that then it means you have i field 2 which is equal to 20 divided by that value there 34.367 it then equals it then equals uh, i field 2 is then equal to let's punch that in the calculator there I field 2 is equal to 0, 0,582 amperes, right, 0, 0,582 amperes. So you have that value. It means you can then calculate this basic, this whole resistance it means you can calculate this whole resistance because we know that the voltage here v 
is equal to 250 volts. So we can calculate that. You can say R field 2 is then equal to V divided by I field 2, which is what you just calculated there. It's the current that is flowing through that guy there. So this is equal to 250 divided by 0 0.582. And this gives you your field current. I'm running out of space here. Your field current is then, I mean, your field resistance RF2 is then equal to 429,553 ohms. Okay, like that right so our r2 rf2 is then equal to 429.553 ohms but this is now a combination of the unknown value rx plus the known field resistance that we know so rx will then be equal to the 429.553 minus the known value of 250 250 and you calculate you end up You will end up at Rx is equal to one seven nine comma five five three ohms. This is the value that we were looking for. Thank you.